Ooh. Just the most gorgeous morning. Mother Nature unfolding all her life and beauty. has brought home from the meadow and has been drinking milk from her mummy for nine months so it's enough now and we want her nice and tame so she can be a lovely little milking cow and Blossom's having a morning bath so gorgeous let's go Some mother love there. Beautiful mother love. Mm. Thank you, mother love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll let the cows onto the grass. Turn off the fence. Yeah. 
Kopje, kopje. Hip, hip, hip. Hip, hip, hip. This is a bit low here. I can see. Yeah. Yeah. They're so cute and they're so beautiful because we've got three different colours now. <laughs> so gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. some more fence. <laughs> so while we've got the cows in the background there, I'll sit down and make a little video. A little video. Yo, yo, yo. Oh, I just love cows so much. <laughs> ah. Blossom's respecting the fence very well. Very well, indeed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Nein, 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 nein. So we can hear the Nuna's calling from the meadow. She's calling. She's calling to Emily. Okay. So let's do this video. So what I want to talk about this morning is uh, uh, continuing our little journey, purifying our lives. And there's many things we can talk about. So I'll just I'll just move into more of it and just see what comes. So purifying our lives, which is so important right now, and as I've said several times, we're returning to the purity of who we really are. So we're becoming our soul self. Uh, and for most of us, it means spending more time alone. Uh, also, just really uh, that we keep connecting with ourselves, listening to our hearts, because uh, no two journeys are the same. And the way I help myself purify and the way you do it is can be very different. So, just turn the camera a bit. I want to have the sun right on. So, um, so there's the whole body thing, purifying, helping the body purify itself, which is really important. And I think now I'll talk about the, the re relationship, or uh, generally our life. Uh, so the place we're living, we can clean up. I mean, <laughs> I need to do that in my house, just throw out give away so many things. I just haven't felt the day has come yet. <laughs> and But one day it will come where I have to just let go of really many things. And I know that there's only very few things really that I really enjoy to use. So this physical cleaning away and simplifying our lives, just making life much more simple. Uh, has a very pure feeling about it. Um, and when it, it's all, the whole purifying process comes from listening to our hearts, letting our heart guide us to what we, what is best for us. When we do what is best for us, we purify very quickly. And one of the big thing is really things is is our relationships, and who to be with, who not to be with, and for myself, I've had to be very. I've ha uh, I know that I worked very hard to make relationships work and I just had to let them go. I had to let them go, many of them. It was so really devastating it was, and it was just really not healthy because you can't make relations, you, can, um, you can work at relationships to some degree but there just always has to be a, the balance because the other person has to wish it. And if you have really entered into your into a heart-centered way of living and the other person doesn't want to do that, often the relationship just will not keep going <clears throat> because you're just too different. And you get to hurt each other without wanting to because you're just so different. So with social life and uh, everything, I've changed so much because I used to be a, a person who, not a party party girl, but um, a person who loved to gather the family and, and make big parties and have fun together and just uh, ha make beautiful, wonderful food, lots of food and and just really just, yeah, enjoy being together. And I don't do that anymore because I, <laughs> it became, I love to do it, but it just became, uh, yeah, I just had to stop. So really, uh, the people I connect with it's much more one and one and it's really when I feel they wish to connect with me I do it if they don't I just leave it uh, so I'm very much being I've been a big giver and a big uh, resp responsibility freak <laughs> and now I'm just letting it all go and, and think to 
to myself and know that with myself that I'm I'm going into more of a receiving mode and if people want to show their love I'm here and uh, they will very quickly feel my love too so it, it, when you are pur purifying our lives we can feel that there's things we don't want to do anymore like going to certain parties or <clears throat> just different arrangements where you just feel this is wrong for me I'd just rather be alone drink some tea look out the window <laughs> do nothing and I just want to encourage you to do it do it because you will feel so much better it takes a lot of courage but do it because you'll, you'll feel that you you feel you will feel the purifying effect and you will also feel the power you start to gain a lot of power the thing is we are very very powerful beings but because we've been through this very long, intense, very horrible period of, of humanity's <laughs> journey, we all feel so weakened. But if there's something that's alive, it is that you're weak, you're not. You're very, very powerful. <clears throat> and I can feel, I can feel, just feel. I just feel how... is telling me to say this right now. The thing is we're so we're such magnificent and very very powerful beings because we hold we hold God's power. I mean the, the power that created everything. Every planet, every star. That power is in us. We are endlessly powerful there's no limit to our power and we're, we're, we're still in this horrible lie that you're 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 powerless it's horrible so when you feel this urge to say no to something do it and you will feel your power grow you'll feel oh my god <laughs> i could just say no thank you what a gift and and so you have these abilities that you don't know you have but you do on a deep level you know so purifying our lives can be a lot of saying no thank you and also to food and often in, at these gatherings because we have this very addictive relationship to food i know it from myself it's all about food and food and food there's no spirit and so you're stuffing yourself <laughs> with all this food that you can't digest and a lot of drink maybe and you feel so sick afterwards because it's hard for people to be together without stuffing themselves it becomes very un impure so you're, when you say no and you really feel it's right for you you don't have all the troubles the next day or you're feeling horrible so yeah, and, and uh, let's go a little bit more into relationships. I can see, this is just a personal thing about myself, I can see when I watch my videos and I see my face, I can see that my left eye is a little bit smaller than my right eye. And what has that got to do with purity? Well, it has to do with relationships. The, our left side is our mother. And our right side is our father. It's, it's, both sides represent different things. But the more symmetrical our face is, the more imbalanced we are emotionally also. And um, I'm closing off my emotions towards my mother's side. And there's many reasons for this, which I won't go into, but I know that for all relationships to become pure, whether they continue or not, really the main thing is to forgive. So your mother was who she was. She was not perfect. Maybe she was very, very imperfect, a very, not very good mother. Your father, he was who he was. And we are all carrying on to this why, why, why? Because as little babies we just wished to be looked after. And many of our parents couldn't look after us because they were emotionally in such a mess themselves. They didn't do anything to hurt us. 
but very many people are in this victim uh, well they're just in their ego they're just in all this pain and of course it's very hard to be a nurturing balanced parent when you're in a lot of pain but whatever your mother and father did uh, the way that we release all neg when we're holding on to negative emotions towards our parents we're blocking the purity the pure self can't really come forth because she's a little bit pressured a little bit the little hurt child is still there holding keeping uh, the body and the life pressured and toxic every every time I send out a negative emotion or why did this happen or I'm, I'm, I'm burdening my body and my life so uh, so really noticing within us when we have this quiet time where am I feeling negative where have I not completely forgiven and if it's very hard to forgive to just pray for help because God the only thing God really wishes is to set, that you set yourself free and the way that you become free is by forgiving completely to let it go and I know for myself it's hard, it's very hard. But this is what, this is what is, <laughs> as I said, love is the greatest purifier of all. Let those people go. No matter how much responsibility they actually had over you when you were little, it was all meant to be, it's all okay. You are loved by your heavenly family endlessly. And you're looked after. So let them go. So I'll, I'm practicing. I'll be practicing this more. And I was actually thinking of doing these eye exercises, which are supposed to be very good for the eyesight, where you, you look to one side, you're doing these eye exercises, and that's probably also very good for our emotions. Because apparently, also, the way we look, uh, when we... Uh, I know that from kinesiology, which I learnt many years ago, that when you take your eye up into the left side, uh, up into the periphery, you're going into the, the actually the memories that are stored in our brain, all the hurt, all the pain that's sitting there, and the balancing, some of the balancing exercises you need to do while you're rotating your eyes, so that because when you go up and rotate your eyes you're accessing these parts of our brain it's so fascinating so when you say I forgive I forgive and you're rotating your eyes it, it, it goes deeper so anyway this was just a little talk about relationships and purity so the more we can just allow ourselves to let these people go let these people be where they are meant to be the more pure we feel we are. Stop hating, stop judging, just let them be. And when we reach that far, we can just send them love. Just see them in the light. So, yeah, it's, it's just so wonderful. We're all moving towards purity, becoming our pure, beautiful selves. And the last thing I want to mention is beauty, which is important for some of us more than others. The, our own physical beauty is connected to our purity. The more you purify your body, the more your beauty shines out. And you are beautiful. <laughs> Every person on this planet has special physical beauty. And we don't get it by putting stuff, getting operations and putting stuff on our face that's not the true beauty it comes from within and it will come out when you shed all these old emotions and toxins you become much more beautiful and you can enjoy that and that you just feel you feel more beautiful inside and you can see that you're becoming more and more beautiful on the outside so powerful so I'll finish this video now and just uh, wish you all the love and light there is in your life, in your heart. See you my friend. <laughs>